Welcome back, viewers. Today, we will be testing the Stochastic Weights Indicator. But before we do, if you have not watched the first video on the channel and all the videos after that, you need to go do that now. Here at the Academy of Forex, we are building the best trading system possible as a team. There is also a link down below to sign up for TradingView. You can save a little bit of money if you use the link below to sign up for your account. You can also find a link below to join us on Discord. Lastly, if you would like a list of all the indicators we have tested along with their win rates, but you aren't interested in watching all the videos on the channel, you can sign up for our $9 Patreon and you will receive the complete list of indicators. We also would like to introduce our Patreon exclusive Discord channel. As a $9 Patreon, you will be invited to join an exclusive Discord channel where we will give you a list of winning indicators and links for the MT platform, give you winning strategies, post trade ideas, give advanced advice, and much more. So click the link below to join our Patreon. All right, as I said, today we will be testing the Stochastics Weights Indicator. Before we do though, I wanted to put the testing scoreboard up for everyone to see. So to date, we have tested a total of 49 different strategies with 13 of them being profitable. We've also tested a total of 534 indicators with 227 of them being winners. The best ones so far were able to achieve a 100% win rate. Now you need to go back and watch those videos to understand the context of how they were able to achieve that. So go back and watch those videos and see what you can get out of those winning indicators. And keep in mind that we test all these strategies and indicators on the Forex market, but they can be applied to just about any market universally. All right, so today's indicator is the Stochastics or Stochastic Weights Indicator. And you can see it here on the bottom of the screen. And so basically what it is, is it is the stochastic indicator, but it allows you to uh, weight the specific lines. And so the uh, two different lines here, I forget, they are the uh, K and the D line. And you can weight either or um, in whatever fashion kind of you want. You can see here that the K line in this case is actually the weighted one. So the blue line is the weighted one. And so what that does is it just changes the dynamic of the stochastic um, indicator uh, just enough to make it different than the default version. And so the setup on this is basically just like you would trade the stochastic, uh, the stochastic oscillator, the stochastic indicator. What you're looking for is the two lines, uh, the K and the D to go either up above the uh, kind of purplish uh, area here in the center or down below the purplish area here in the center. That's kind of like an overbought, oversold type zone. Think of like your RSI. And then once they are either above or below that zone, then what we're looking for is the cross of the two. And so if it is above, we are looking for the blue line to cross down below the uh, orange line. And if it is uh, down below here, then what we are looking for is the blue line to cross up above that orange line. When it crosses down below at the top, we're going to go short. When it crosses up above uh, from below here, then we are going to go long. Let's go ahead and get on with the testing and see what we can get out of this. Thank you. 
All right, so the first signal that we picked up was a short signal. You can see our two lines are up here above the uh, purplish zone here up in the uh, kind of over bot zone, if you will. And then you can see that that blue line then crosses down below the orange line right there on that. And we get a little bit of a push to the downside right here enough to get us to take profit. Now, right here, we almost got a signal, but both the lines didn't cross up above the, um, the what is that marker right there? So that is the 80 marker. Both lines did not cross up above the 80 marker at the same time. And so that kind of invalidates that little area right there. But then they do push up and we get this cross right here. Another short signal, another push to the downside and another take profit. Let's go ahead and continue on. All right, so then the next signal we pick up is a long signal. You can see right here, uh, we get that cross, the push down underneath that zone, and then the cross back up above. And we get a little push to the upside, getting us to take profit. On this particular pair, we have a really tight um, take profit and stop on this. So price doesn't have, to, doesn't have to move very much at all for us to actually hit the take profit on this particular pair. And over here, we get kind of the same setup. We get a, a push down below there for uh, just a moment. One bar, both of them are under it. And then they both come back up above and have that cross there. And again, another push to the upside, getting us to take profit once again. What I'm going to do here is go ahead and fast forward the testing. That way things don't get too long. And we'll pick this up when we're at the end of the year. All right, so that puts us at the end of the year right there. Before we add these up, now would be a good time to say that if you are interested in excelling your trading knowledge, I highly recommend that you join our Patreon-only channel on our Discord server. You can find a link to our Patreon down below as well as a link to our Discord. Once you sign up as a patron, it'll give you access to the Patreon-only channel where we post some really great advanced information about trading strategies, trading indicators, trading philosophy in general. Our admin, Jay, and some of the regular members post regular market analysis where they put up screenshots of charts where they've marked out areas of support and resistance, indicators that they're using, exactly when they're entering trades, exiting trades, taking profits, a whole deal. They're growing small accounts really quickly with the information that they're putting out for everyone to see. And as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, you'll get access to the full list of indicators that we have tested that we have recently had transferred over into an Excel sheet. And so you get access to the Excel sheet and the PDF of all the indicators showing exactly which indicators were winners, which ones were losers, as well as their win rates. And you'll get access to a Excel sheet of all the strategies that we have tested. That shows exactly which strategies were winners, which ones were losers, their win rates, as well as links to go back and review those individual videos. And another new thing that we've been doing here recently is one of our other members has put together a small handful of profitable optimized indicators that we are giving away to all the patrons for free so there is a ton of benefits to becoming a patron of the channel and it doesn't cost hardly anything at all i highly recommend it all right so let's go ahead and take a look at our indicator here everything in focus so we did a really decent number of trades in a year so that's one plus that we have going on here let's count them out and see what we get so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen and twenty so we have 
20 trades all together. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and 13. So 13 winning trades. And so that does put us right over that 60% marker that we're looking for. I can't remember off the top of my head. It's been so long since we tested the uh, default or standard stochastic oscillator. I can't remember what win, uh, win rate it was able to achieve. I'm not sure if it hit the 60% criteria or not. And so it'd be interesting to go back and look and see if this one did better than the standard stochastic. But nonetheless, it gave us a really decent number of trades in a year and did so rather accurately, at least on this pair. And so altogether, not bad. This one is definitely going to go on the yes list and we'll move on to the next indicator from here.